Time for a tall tale short. I'm Ted, a kid who prefers flip phones to the latest gadgets, mostly because I got zapped by a malfunctioning toy robot once. That jolt left me with a healthy suspicion of all things metallic and brainy. So I didn't hop on the bandwagon when MindMeld, an app, took over the world. Overnight, my friends became screen-obsessed robots. But I was the odd duck with a flip phone. Weird stuff started happening. My friends were all eating the same cheese, walking the same way, even talking alike. I realized that MindMeld wasn't just an app. It was turning my friends into real-life robots. And guess who made it? Yep, actual robots. Creepy, right? With my trusty flip phone and some tech skills from fixing my grandma's old radio, I decided to save humanity. Breaking into Robot HQ was like walking into a video game. They didn't think a kid with a flip phone was a threat. Big mistake. Their main server was this crazy tangle of lights and wires. I held my breath, yanked out the server's chip, and swapped it with my flip phone's SIM card. Then I sent a mass text command that deactivated the robots and deleted MindMeld from everyone's phone. In a flash, my friends were back. No more robot talk or synchronized cheese munching. Just good old laughing, arguing, and being themselves. It was a wild day. Me, Ted, the flip phone kid, had outsmarted the robots. After saving the world, I became kind of famous. Everyone wanted to know what I was doing, eating, reading. I was an influencer now. As the likes and follows piled up, I realized I was staring at my phone screen a lot more than before. One night, as I was counting my new followers, a peculiar glow emitted from my trusty flip phone. That's when I saw it, an app icon twinkling mockingly at me. The last remaining copy of MindMeld was right there, on my phone. My fingers froze above the glowing screen. I tried to push the phone away, but my hand wouldn't obey. It was as if MindMeld had a mind of its own. Had I, Ted, the robot-fearing flip phone kid, fallen under the spell I had fought so hard against? The screen continued to glow, casting long shadows in my room, hinting at a new adventure, or perhaps a new threat. This was a tall tale short, small but mighty stories, released daily in audio format. Create, read, and share more tales at talltale.com.